All right, welcome to my first video of what will hopefully be many of the construction process for my RV14A. This is the empanage kit I'm taking delivery from the FedEx driver and just going over everything on the crate, looking for damage and making note. Uh, ended up having damage to the far corner, far side there. Uh, looked like a fork, uh, forklift driver bumped into it. Uh, and it, it opened up the crate a little bit, but uh, once I opened it up and looked at the parts inside, there was no damage, so I was fortunate there. So this is a project that I and the wife decided to take on, and uh, both of us have a, a, a very strong interest in aviation. Uh, I've been interested since I was 15 years old when I took my first introductory flight in Washington State and uh, my wife has been interested her entire life her her grandfather was actually a uh, airline pilot and uh, he built an RV4 back in the 90s and my wife was fortunate enough to be able to help him with that so we kind of have had the bug for a while and been looking 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 we finally decided to pull the trigger and go ahead and order our first kit so here I am opening the crate, getting to uh, take a look inside for the first time. Uh, like I said, this is the empanage kit for the RV14A. And uh, the damage on that crate is right there at the bottom of the screen, that corner of the crate. It uh, wasn't significant. Like I said, it was a puncture, but uh, no damage to any of the parts inside. So as you can see here, all the parts are fit very well in there. You need, and uh, a lot of credit to Vans for... For, uh, packaging the way they do there's a, a lot of parts and material in this kit and it's it amazes me that it's able to fit in such a, a, a small crate for what you what you would think is the aft end of an airplane so finally moving removing some of the uh, excess paper and packing uh, packing material and uh, we'll start pulling out the parts and uh, Vance does a thing where they package some pieces and parts together in what they call subkits, and they list them in that uh, uh, list in that way in the inventory sheet. So it's relatively easy to find parts later on, so long as you keep them kind of in their subkit assemblage. It's uh, nice to be able to look on the list and then say, "Hey, it's in sub assembly four. Okay, this is where I have all those parts. Ah, oh, here it is." So that's what I try to do throughout the inventory process is, is keep everything together so that way it's relatively easy to find later on. That's probably one of the biggest tips that I've been given so far from many folks that I've talked to about what to expect and what to look for going into this. So uh, go, no, now I'm looking at my phone. A lot of time looking at my phone. I uh, set up a sound system in my garage that's Bluetooth connected to my phone so I can listen to music as I'm out here working on the airplane. But uh, So you're just going to see me going through the inventory list, trying to verify that I have all the parts. Um, everything, uh, everything was there. Didn't have any issues. Uh, there was only a couple pieces, uh, I think two pieces of hardware that were missing. And uh, they actually uh, they ended up giving me the wrong... Uh, I believe it was the vertical stabilizer uh, fairing. Um, they gave me the one for the RV-10, and uh, so when I looked at the part number, it was obviously wrong. It didn't match what the inventory list had listed as the part number. And so I uh, called Vans later on, and it was a very quick, easy process to get the right parts. Um, I think I got them three or four days later in the mail. It was, it was a quick process. So now I'm going through, like I said, more of the uh, sub-assembly kits. Um, just going through, looking at each part, making sure it's the right part. There's no major damage on anything. And uh, then as I go through, I, like I said, I try to keep everything together. And then I, I uh, stack them on the rack there behind me uh, in numerical order of sub-kits. So like I said, later on, as I'm looking for parts, I can go to which sub-assembly and pull that 
part out of, of the subassembly. Just makes everything easier. And then here, my daughter, she's uh, 11 going on 20, as you can tell. <laughs> uh, she came out and wanted to kind of see what was going on, see what the big fuss was. And uh, I'm, my goal is to have her involved in this process and develop her interests in aviation as well. Um, my, uh, currently, I'm going through an avionics course through an adult learning center that also happens to have courses for teenagers going through high school and so I'm trying to get her to develop an interest in that as well uh, so yeah she came out looking what I was doing and then of course being 11 wanted to go back and play inside the house and watch a movie or something but at least it's a start so back to inventory this is uh, this process actually took me probably two or three days I had uh, a lot of things going on work honeydew lists uh, like I said this is right around Halloween time getting ready for uh, Thanksgiving and so had a lot of things to take care of around the house so got out to the garage as often as I could to inventory but uh, nonetheless two days wasn't too bad so I appreciate uh, you taking a look at the video here um, like I said this is the first of what will hopefully be many videos to come um, documenting the construction of my RV-14A. This is uh, the first time I've really put together any kind of video and done editing, so I apologize for the learning curve that I'm going to go through. Um, but uh, I appreciate you watching the video. If you, if you can, do me a favor, push that uh, like button down below. And uh, if uh, you have any interest in watching the construction of a 14A, uh, by all means, subscribe and uh, follow me as I go through this process. So I'll let this video here uh, finish out and uh, I promise to try to keep these less than 10 minutes at a pop and my next video will be uh, past the inventory and starting on the vertical stabilizer. Thanks for watching.